Hi everyone. Today video is about simulation of a simple flip-flop circuit in Proteus Professional Software. Flip-flop is a circuit in which a signal is switched alternatively. For example at the instant when one signal is switched on, other is off and when the second signal gets on the first signal goes off. In this way both signals are switched on and off alternatively. Here in this case two light emitting diodes are connected to both signals that shows their flip-flop behavior. So, next we are going to draw it in Proteus Professional Software. So let's start. Delete everything from workspace and component bin. As I have already explained workspace area and component bin area in previous video. This area where circuit is drawn is called the workspace environment and this area where components are readily available for use is called the bin. Once components are picked from libraries they remain placed in bin for frequent use. Now open this library icon and search for transistor BC547. Make sure to choose the transistor that has a proper simulation model available. If SPICE or simulation model is not available the component will have no issue in schematics but will not be played in simulation. Pick the transistor BC547 from the components bin again or simply copy and paste it in the workspace. X mirror the second transistor, place it at appropriate place and also readjust its labels. Now again open the library and choose a resistor. The resistor may be of any value. Make sure that we can change the value of components even later on, when placed in workspace. Place resistor at appropriate place. Click resistor with mouse and choose right click a window pop-ups. Select option copy to clipboard. Now move the mouse where you want to place the copy for this resistor. Now right click on resistor to open properties and give values of 10k to each. Now again open the library and search for capacitor category. Search for non-polar capacitor of any value, we will change value later on in workspace. Place the capacitor selected at its place. Then make a copy for the same capacitor, move at appropriate location and place it. Readjust components locations, so that it looks tidy and good. Now it's the time to connect all component and draw wires. Select components one by one and draw wires as required. Click on Terminal Mode from Bar menu on the left side of the workspace. Select Ground Terminal from the Terminal Mode window. Place Ground Terminal in the workspace and route it in the circuit where required. Now again come to the Terminal Mode window and select the Power Terminal. Place it in workspace. The power is positive 5V DC source by default. Route the power in the circuit where it is required. Now again come to the libraries and select the LED make sure that the LED you select is having the right simulation model, else it will not be simulated in circuit drawn. Place two at LED each in the workspace at locations as shown in video. And route both the LEDs. Now the simulation model for flip flop is almost completed. Readjust everything so that it look good.
give value to the capacitors to 220 microfarads for each capacitor. The on-off timing of LED will depend on the RC time constant of the resistor and capacitor used in each network. Change the values of capacitor and resistor in each branch one by one and note how on off of LED changes. Thanks for watching, drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, to watch more videos like this.